Well, here in West Michigan, we're still seeing lots of snow on the ground, but that could change as the week goes on. Blake, how's our forecast shaping up? I know we've got some warmer temperatures on the way. Yeah, that's right, we do, Tom. If you're a fan of the snow, enjoy the next few days. Check this out. If you watched News 8 last night, Ellen showed you this. Remarkable. This year, at this time, we've seen 67.6 inches in Grand Rapids. Compare that to our average by this time of 24.4. We had only seen 14 inches at this time last year. And at this point in 2020, we had seen 1.6. So, remarkable change. Our average is right around 75 to 80 inches. And we're already almost there in December. Absolutely remarkable. 22 degrees in Grand Rapids. We're at 20 in Allegan and Kalamazoo. 20 in Surgis and Coldwater. 18 in Benton Harbor. Cold air still in place off to our west, but notice the winds have turned southerly for many locations. And that means warmer air is going to start to be lifted up over the next several days, getting a bit warmer with each day that passes. Storm Track Live shows cloudy skies. We're trying to eke out a few peaks of sunshine here and there, and I think it's possible through the afternoon. Notice down towards Benton Harbor, we may be getting a little bit. Uh, but again, for most areas right now, it's gloomy, including here at Grand Valley's campus in Allendale. I have not seen a lot of sunshine, and that is an understatement for this one so far. A look towards downtown Grand Rapids shows the same. Here's the temperature outlook for the next uh, six to 10 days, showing a very good chance of seeing above average ratings for the entire eastern United States, and also a very good chance of seeing above average precipitation. So, warmer and wetter means melting snowpack and rain showers. Are in our forecast. We mostly drive through Wednesday, perhaps a little bit of sunshine uh, today, better chance today than tomorrow. Dense fog becomes possible Thursday morning, continues through Friday, and it's looking like a big warm up to end 2022 with snow melt and rain showers both looking likely. Future cast through this afternoon shows perhaps a few peaks of sunshine here and there, not much expected though. And that cloud cover rolls on for us through the day on Wednesday. We're tracking the potential of that fog, as I mentioned, into early Thursday. And notice that much of Thursday and Friday could be spent with dense fog. This may be overdoing it a little bit. Regardless, we have so much snowpack that as warm air moves over that snowpack, pretty easy to get fog development, and that could linger for several days. So just keep that in mind towards the end of the week. We're then tracking several rain chances through the end of the week as well. Perhaps a few showers on Thursday. Friday looks to be uh, the best chance, perhaps staying off to our southeast. But then by the time we get into Saturday, we may see some steady rain for New Year's Eve, and that rain shower chance lingers into Sunday as well. So certainly a rainy pattern heading our way here. Uh, over the next eight days or so. 14 uh, miles per hour, the wind speed in Grand Rapids. Wind gusts will continue to gust close to 25 to 30 miles per hour over the next several days. Your hourly planner shows temperatures steady in the low to mid 20s, mostly cloudy and cool. But again, that snowpack on the roads is going to start to melt and we'll start to see some improvement there. Your eight day forecast shows temperatures up into the upper 30s for tomorrow, mid 40s for Thursday. Again, fog, a big concern for us both Thursday and Friday. And then we see temperatures warm into the 40s to close out 2022 and begin 2023. And with intermittent rain showers looking likely, almost all of our snow should be gone by this time next week, Tom. Hard to believe that that's all just going to go away. We went through all of that for a whole <laughs> lot of nothing. Oh, all right. Thanks, Blake. Yep.